Okay. All right, I'm back. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I don't know why I am plagued with these issues. Clearly, it can't be a coincidence. It must be something I'm doing wrong. Someday, I'll figure out what it is. But in the meantime, you've got a inconsistent, unreliable, sometimes glitchy Oxhorn here. And at least now I'm live. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for today's Monday broadcast. It's great to have you on the program today. As you may have noticed, I'm not broadcasting Cyberpunk 2077 today. And uh, I think uh, the reason for that is self-explanatory. It's a very uh, graphically intensive game, a very GPU intensive game. And I don't trust it to run efficiently on this computer. Um, especially since we've been having as much trouble as we have with Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, Baldur's Gate is working. It's functional. It is at times a little glitchy. <coughs> but it works, and so we're going we're gonna to try it. Okay, so uh, uh, that said, this week is a, a very difficult one for me. As I have uh, a long-awaited appointments that take place all this week. Uh, so it's going to be very difficult for me to live stream this week. The plan at the moment is to broadcast today and... That might be yet. Um, we'll see. I have an appointment on Wednesday that might alter the rest of my week. If the, so I definitely no broadcast on Wednesday. If the appointment goes well, I might be able to do a broadcast on Thursday, but I won't know until after the appointment. So stay tuned. Um, the hardware that I purchased to repair my computer, this one, is supposed to arrive between today and Wednesday. Now that said, some of the pieces have arrived early. I got my uh, CPU cooler here. I'm going to replace the uh, closed loop water cooler that I am currently using with this one to completely el eliminate water as a factor from my build. The CPU uh, is the, really the clincher. I gotta get the CPU before I can even test everything else. If the CPU arrives before the GPU, then at least I can make sure everything is up and running and I can use my existing GPU uh, in the interim, uh, but I really need that CPU. So depending on when the CPU gets here is really going to um, It's really going to affect whether or not I can get my lore video done for the weekend So cross your fingers that everything arrives on time and that I will be able to Produce more content throughout this week That said for now we are broadcasting and playing the game on my editing rig and it'll probably go about the same way I did last Wednesday. We were able to get through it, and it was a good broadcast. Uh, by the way, my plush has begun shipping early. That's right, I've received word that uh, many people who pre-ordered my plush are already starting to get it, uh, which is great news. I was, ho I was thinking that we were going to have to wait until the beginning of April. Or the end of March. But that's not the case. They have them in stock now. So if you haven't snagged your Oxhorn plushie, now's your opportunity. Go ahead and snag that now while you can before we run out of stock. It's looking good. It's one of a kind. I uh, will have other items available in the shop at some point in the future. But this is probably going to be the final run for this particular plushie. So if you want one, snag one now. 
I'll go ahead and set him over there. Now, let's see. Can I read the chat? Yeah. This is a little awkward, but bear with me while I sneak over here so I can actually read the chat and be on camera at the same time. Julian Z with a super chat says, Morning Ox, what's the update on your new PC? Thank you for that one, Julian Z. I think I ran you guys through the update. Um, still waiting on parts, essentially. Still waiting on parts. The Maker with a super tip. Thank you so much, The Maker. That was The Maker's first super tip on my broadcast. Thank you so much, The Maker. Rancid Hamster says, Hey, Oxen Chat, good luck with the new rig. My Ox plushie arrived today. I tagged you on Twitter. It's great. My boy stole him already. <laughs> uh, sounds like my kids. They'll uh, they'll steal any plushies that I get. I got that um, bottle and cappy plushie from Bethesda, and they loved it so much they, they wanted it. So I ended up having to buy some for each of my kids and then one for myself for my display. Uh, but yeah, I'm really glad that I, I sewed down the suspenders because I know that kids are going to want to play with the plushie and I don't want it to get destroyed early so hopefully it'll last long in your household Hunter says damn that's one big monitor I know this is my editing monitor it's uh, one of the largest widescreen monitors available and I, I love it it's great for video editing because I can just maximize my timeline and I've got little windows over there for sound clips and little video uh, clips that I can put into the timeline. And it gives me a great amount of real estate to edit video on. It's not so great for many other things. Like there are few games that support ultra widescreen like this. Um, oddly enough, Baldur's Gate 3 is one of them. When I tried tinkering with Baldur's Gate 3 on this computer, it actually looked pretty good in uh, ultra widescreen. Cyberpunk is another game that works pretty good in ultra widescreen. But few others are optimized well, so I don't do a lot of gaming on this rig. Valheim, however, works on an ultra widescreen, and I love it on this computer. It looks so good. Same with Satisfactory, both great games for ultra widescreen monitors. Uh, yeah, sorry about the technical issues uh, earlier. It was the internet. I had to sync it to my smartphone uh, with a personal hotspot. So we are on my data plan right now. Don't know when this will finish. I mean, we've been going through this for years now. And my uh, ISP will have issues periodically. And they'll last for months and then go away. And then I'll be free for months. So I don't know how long this is going to last. But at the moment... I'm broadcasting smooth signal on my hotspot. Rachel says, watching from the beach in Jamaica, celebrating my husband's grandparents' 50-year anniversary. Cheers, have a great stream. Congratulations to your grandparents. 50 years, that's amazing. I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy for you. I hope that at some point I'll be able to celebrate a 50-year anniversary. But by then, I'll probably be too old to enjoy a trip to Jamaica. One can hope. One can hope. I'm live on uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Kick, Facebook. Major shout out to the guys at uh, Kick. I know that they're a brand new streaming platform. They've been around for a while doing other things. I think they were a social media app, still are. But now they're doing live streams. And uh, before I started broadcasting on Quick, I emailed their uh, on Kick. I emailed their support because somebody else had already snagged the username Oxhorn and had been camping it. They uh, they hadn't done anything. They hadn't produced any content. But it's a username that I've been using for over 20 years now. Before Kick was even a social media platform, so. I reached out to them and I said, hey, I'd love to be able to broadcast on Kick under my username. And, and they, they made that happen. So I am now broadcasting on Kick. Kick.com slash Oxhorn. Easy to find me. I changed the location for Twitch. It's no longer Twitch.com slash Scotch and Smoke Rings. It is now Twitch.com slash Oxhorn. I originally made my Twitch channel to solely be the repository for my weekly show. That was back before I was doing regular live streams as Oxhorn. Uh, and so Scotch and Smoke Rings made sense as it was the name of my show. 
But now that live streaming has blown up and become this huge thing, and now that I'm doing it multiple times a week, um, I wanted to go ahead and claim my username. So now I'm now broadcasting on twitch.com slash oxhorn, trying to make everything uh, simpler for everybody. So if you want to snag me on either on any of those platforms, that's how you can find me. I got a notification that somebody resubscribed to become a Silver Ox, but the name disappeared. I don't know. Well, thank you. Whoever subscribed uh, as a Silver Ox, I do appreciate it. No, this is Patrick says, are they the gambling websites? No. I don't think so. I, th I always thought Kick was just a, like a, a social media website where you could create uh, group chats and just chat with friends. Uh, and then they recently moved into live streaming. I don't think it has anything to do with gambling. If it does, let me know and I'll, I'll make some changes because I don't want to be involved in gambling. But I don't think it's a gambling website. There we go, H.M. Grant on kick. Good to see you, H.M. Grant. Spoerger on kick. Good to see you, Spoerger. Pugbox on Twitch says, good morrow, Ox. Good morrow, Pugbox. Good to see you. We've got IP Freely. Thank you for that one, IP Freely on Twitch. Ruronen on Twitch. Trash Can Paul on Twitch. Good to see everybody on Twitch today. Twitch has been amazing because I keep getting notifications of new followers, new subscribers, and even new uh, donations on Twitch when I'm not live, which is cool. I didn't even know Twitch had that functionality. So uh, many thanks to all of my Twitch viewers who continue to support the broadcast even when I'm offline. Raul Duke on YouTube says, different view today, I see. Yeah, it's a different view, a forced view, as my gaming rig has blown up. Well, I mean, literally, it kind of blew apart and water went cascading everywhere. So, yeah, I'm in the process of fixing that, and when it's fixed, all of this will go back to normal. But for the moment, I'm broadcasting at a slightly awkward angle as my camera's kind of fixed over there. I don't have the room or the cord length to move it anywhere else. So it's gonna have to be there, which means when I start playing the game, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera uh, and we'll play the game with just the game and my, my lovely voice. So hopefully that'll be enough for everybody. Thomas McCormick says, Kick, K-I-K, is the old social media website for video chats. Kick, K-I-C-K, is a knockoff Twitch that was funded by crypto casinos, essentially Twitch with less rules. Oh! Okay. Didn't know that. <laughs> I thought they were the same thing. I thought Kick was Kick. But that's right, there's a C-K in it, so it's not Kick, K-I-K. They're not the same thing. Oh. Right, well, as long as they don't promote gambling and casinos on kick, I I'll be I'll, I'll be all right with it. I'll be fine with it. We'll see. Toby Noble on Facebook says, People say you can pick your nose, but I thought I was just born with mine. Right, I mean, you can pick your nose in a character builder, but sadly, not in life. Pugbox says Stake being one of the largest crypto gambling sites on the internet. I'm not familiar with it. I haven't done any of that crypto gambling. I never really got into crypto. I felt bad because I didn't think crypto was going to be a thing when the whole Bitcoin thing happened. I remember it coming out and I'm like, oh, this is silly. No one's going to invest in, 
in crypto. This is ridiculous. And then the the what were they called? The the pictures that you could buy, you could like own it. I, f I forget what it was called. The I what were they called? Anyway, those things came out, and I was like, man, those are silly. Who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna get into all of that? And then they blew up, and crypto became this huge industry, and everyone was crypto mining, and then there were cryptocurrencies popping up all over the place, and Doge coins, whatever those were, and and then the NFTs. Yeah, NFTs. Thank you. And if, then F NFTs blew up and celebrities were selling NFTs and people were spending thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to own a JPEG of a monkey with shades. And I was like, oh man, I did not call that right. I I didn't call that right. I thought it was stupid. I, I didn't call, I, I should have gotten on that. Missed opportunity. And then it all crashed. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yes, thank God I didn't get into that. Oh, I'm, I feel vindicated. I feel like I saved myself. I didn't get into that. And, and now crypto's kind of going up again, isn't it? I don't know. It's one of those weird markets. I don't like it. But then again, I kind of feel old. I kind of, I, I worry about becoming one of those old guys that just doesn't like anything new. Oh, I don't like all these newfangled NFTs and crypto things. I don't want to be that guy. And yet I kind of feel like that guy. <laughs> so I don't know if I should get into all this or not. At the moment, it, it, creeps me out and I'm not going to do it. I don't like all this weird newfangled currency that isn't a currency thing. And yes, I own it, but it's a JPEG. What? All right. I'm not sorry. I can't get into that yet. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. Maybe I'll get with the kids these days. Alt Grendel says, uh, Hey Ox, just wanted to let you know that the last 20 minutes of Scotch and Smoke Rings was the most intense I've ever seen. Oh my God. Last Thursday, Scotch and Smoke Rings, Poppy's Playtime 3. Oh, that was creepy. I mean, Weeping Angels, they're starting to become a thing in horror games, right? I mean, that one Doctor Who episode came out and it just inspired so many horror games to put something like that in their game. But the way that they did it in Poppy's Playtime 3, it was terrifying. And it pissed me off because that one moment I had the, the gate come down. The gate came down. It separated me between the, the Weeping Angel. The teacher lady. And I'm like, okay, I started to get relaxed. I'm feeling like I can get through this. I turn my back for one minute. minute it some, somehow goes through the gate and kills me. And I still don't understand how that happened. Pissed me off so bad. If they, if they can go through gates, the gate shouldn't go down to make me think that it can't go through gates. That was terrifying. And then I didn't know where to go because it was a maze. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. Yeah, yeah, that was terrifying. Thomas McCormick says, not judging, Amazon isn't a magnanimous institution. Amazon? Wh are we talking about Amazon now? Why are we talking about Amazon? I realize Amazon isn't magnanimous. They've got a, they do a lot of shady things. They sure do. But then again, the Fallout show is coming out on Amazon, so we're going to have to cover that. <laughs> Can't avoid that. I, don't, I mean, if you look into it, almost every company has some sort of shady thing going on. From YouTube to to Amazon, almost almost all of them. It's, it's hard to even interact with society and, and avoid interacting with shady things going on. It's just, it's almost impossible, so. Man of Warp says, why did corporate executive, why did the corporate executive take a job as a tree trimmer? He was once a branch manager, then a plant manager, and now he gets to rise up the hierarchy to be a tree manager. Climb on the, climb on the corporate ladder to get to the top of that corporate tree. All right. Thank you, Man of Warb. Then we've got Mike Mangold in the chat says, Hi, Ox. Hey there, Mike Mangold. So good to see you. Toby Noble on Facebook says, My wife asked me why I didn't buy her flowers. I said I would have, but didn't know she sold flowers. I like that. Good one. Jessica McDonald on Facebook says, I met a two-headed cow seller in Fallout 4. That's the first time that happened. You met the Brahmin seller. Yeah. Oh, God, I had completely forgotten about that. But, yeah, you can get Brahmin at your settlements that produce... What do they produce? Or am I mixing that up with another game? 
I'm so confused, but for some reason I've got this vague memory of being able to stumble upon a Brahmin salesman and then get Brahmin in your settlement that produce resources, that produce food, food for your settlers. But yeah, that's cool. Ru, uh, Ru Ronan on Twitch says, many, uh, may NFTs rot in the deepest pits of Mordor. I see not a lot of love for NF uh, NFTs in the chat. I, I can't say that I understand them either. IV Poor One says, yes, people are the worst and don't make a lot of sense. You know what? I, I was optimistic. I was optimistic throughout most of my youth and even early adulthood about human nature. I, I, I thought most people were good <laughs> and most people were sensible. And, I, you know, to be fair, there are a lot of wonderful people out there. And look at all of you, right? I'm, I'm broadcasting to hundreds of people, and you're all really wonderful and nice. You can meet lots of people, but then you see the news and you see the decisions people make. And you wonder how on earth a human being can get into that mental space where they think that is a good decision. And you just shake your head and go, holy cow. Am I really in the minority here? It's weird. Jessica McDonald says, uh, the two-headed cows give you the fertilizer for your crops. That's right. Yeah, that's right. The Brahmin, they, they give you fertilizer for your crops. HM Grant on kick says, jaded. Ha, ha, ha. A am, I, am I starting to get jaded? This is what they say about getting old. You get old and jaded. <laughs> am I getting jaded? I, I feel like I'm being realistic. I'm, I'm not getting jaded. I'm getting... I'm getting realistic. I'm, I'm seeing the world for what it is now. Sure, there are wonderful people out there, but most people are scary. This is, it makes scary decisions. Ivy Poor on Twitch says, sorry, Ox, didn't mean to put us in a bad mindset. No, 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 don't worry about it. It's a crazy world out there right now. You look at the news for five minutes and you can't hardly help but get depressed. So it's only natural. But that's why we have things like this, where we can all come together and forget about the world for a couple of hours and play a video game and chat with each other, enjoy our hobbies, geek out a little bit. It's fun. It's wholesome. I like it. It's important. Man of War on uh, YouTube says, Crypto initially survived mostly on hype, and then the hype bubble burst, and now it trades like a junk bond. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Jessica on Facebook says, I'm going to go and try to write for a little while. Watch you later. Thank you, Jessica. Have fun writing today. Just out of curiosity, it says, Hey, Oxhorn, I wanted to ask if, when you're not recording, what games do you play? Um, well, for a while there, I was playing uh, Valheim and Satisfactory. F uh, Satisfactory is a factory-building game. Still in early access, but really wonderful game. They recently came out with a great update for it. Valheim has been around for a couple of years, and it's uh, one of the most unique survival crafting games that I've played. I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Uh, but I'm at the end now when there's not a lot of end game content for me, so I don't play with play it that much more recently. Uh, I, I just recently started a new game called uh, Final Frontier or or Furthest, Farthest Frontier, I think. It's a city management game. I typically don't get into city management games, but uh, that's what this is. It's, a, it's called Furthest Frontier, and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's also early access, and it's a bit glitchy at times. I know they've got a big um, uh, combat update coming out soon where they're going to be revamping raiders that attack your settlement and try to steal your resources. And, and they're, they're going to make that part of the game a lot better. Um, but I'm playing that. I'm playing it on the easiest mode, though. Uh, typically, when it comes... Like, I played Frostpunk. I remember when Frostpunk came out. It looked like it was right up my alley. I played it, and I just kept dying. I couldn't get past year 90 or something like that. And all my 
my citizens were dying and I couldn't figure out what to do. It was unforgiving and brutal. <laughs> the nice thing about Farthest Frontier is you can make mistakes, at least on the easy mode. You can make mistakes and it's not going to completely kill everyone in your settlement. Like... If I forget to keep enough gold stockpiled in my trading post, I can last a year and wait for the trader to get back to town so I can trade with him and get more gold or produce resources that'll sell well in the trading post to get the gold back before everyone dies of dysentery. It's a, it's a little bit more forgiving and I like that. I like that. Those are really the only games I've been playing. I play Deep Rock Galactic with my family sometimes. I've been playing Warhammer Vermintide with my family. And uh, we've been getting into that. It's a little gory. It's a little gory, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot like Deep Rock Galactic. I, I think that the only multiplayer games I really enjoy are games like Deep Rock Galactic and Vermintide, where you can group up privately, go on a quick mission that lasts like 30 minutes, and then come back and work on your character and explore your home base. And yeah, that's what I've been getting into recently. Wasteland Wanderer says, uh, Hi Ox, will you play the Fallout London mod? Yeah, probably. Um, I don't know if I'm going to broadcast it. I know many of you would like to see me broadcast it, so perhaps I'll revisit that and decide later. Uh, but I'll definitely install it and check it out just to see if it's worth broadcasting. I'm always hesitant to broadcast a mod without fully understanding it and exploring it first, just because with user-created content, you never really know what you're going to get. And some people could sneak in really weird things, which has happened before with DLC-sized Fallout mods in the past. Um, however, I think the Fallout London guys are pretty up and up from everything that I've heard and all of the press I've seen, but you never really know until you get your hands on it. So we'll see. We'll see. Angie Noble on Facebook says, how do aliens pay for coffee? They use Starbucks. Good one. Love it. Speaking of coffee, where's my coffee? Oh my God, I left it in the other room. I got to go get my coffee. Hand tight, everyone. I will be right back. There we go, I'm using my little uh, muggy mug. It's the Bethesda mug from Fallout New Vegas, Old World Blues. Muggy. I love mugs. Find any mugs? Mm. Okay, well we should probably dive into the game. Rue Ronan says, how could you forget your coffee? And you call yourself a man? For shame, sir. Just joking. <laughs> I love how he had to put the just joking in there, just in case I uh, was taking him seriously. Look, I'm from, C I'm from the Seattle area, right? This is the, the home location of Starbucks. Everyone around here loves their coffee. And I'm no different. I love coffee. I can't help it. Though I don't go to Star Starbucks very often anymore. It's really expensive. Really expensive at Starbucks. Next Forza says, coffee is life. Can't forget it, I know. Stephen Pierce says, loot, lore, and coffee. Those are the three bare essentials. All right. Hopefully this works. Please, 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 please work.
All right, so far so good. Wow, the loading screen is a lot longer on this computer. Maybe I should upgrade it. Maybe I should. I bet it would help with my video editing if I upgraded this one too. Oh God, I hate. I hate working on computers. It gets me anxious whenever I work on something that I absolutely have to have in order to do my job. The slightest thing could go wrong. All right, here we go. That's right, we were in the House of Healing. We had just talked to those, those weird zombie nurses. And we've got a couple of options. We could go through the main door. That's where we need to go. Oh, yes. All right, so we've got some undead creatures in there. That looks like an operating theater. So I wonder what's through this door. That just goes back outside. Who's this? Shadow cursed humans and a shadow cursed dog. Is that a crypt? Huh. Well, if we do go that way, we should probably do it last. And then we could go upstairs to look at that balcony. That's probably what we want to do. Bustavo plays says, just tuned in. Computer still having problems? It is, yeah. Keening on Twitch says, might just be on my end, but the frame rate seems to be a bit stop and go at the moment. It, it is. Uh, we discovered that when I went through this uh, last week. Trying to broadcast and play this game on one computer is going to lead to a frame rate that's not the best. But it's playable. It's playable and, more importantly, it's watchable. So we're going to try it. What have we here? Is this a lift? An elevator of some sort? Your eyes are sharp, sisters. Tend to your scalpels so that I may say the same of them. Right, we've got a rubble ramp that goes down here. And a couple of bodies, Sister Clara, Sister Incessna. We've got roots going down here. I'm curious about that button. Let's press the button. What is this? Oh, this leads to the rooftop. Ah, that's right. And we kind of explored this rooftop. But I don't think we got everything.
Ooh, hello. Hospital library key. I'll take that. Where does that go? Does that go back to the graveyard? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the other path. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle of life uh, falls away. An overseer of the cycle as life falls away. For countless eons, it was Jurgal, the lord of the end of everything, presided over mortality with his unblinking stare, until even he grew weary. Young Baal, Bane, and Merkel must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Merkel claimed primacy over death from Jurgal's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kelimvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die, after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Scroll of Fear. Gilded Chest. Is this going to be trapped? A silver goblet. Cool. Elliot says, Ox, talk to the surgeon. He's a lovely fellow. All right, will do. Let me finish exploring up here first. Ruronin on Twitch says, Are you finding the game hard or easy? <clears throat> uh, the difficulty is in my unfamiliarity with Dungeons and Dragons as an IP. Oh, whoa, 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 why are you going out there? Why, 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 why? Was that really the fastest way? And my inf uh, my unfamiliarity with the rules of this, uh, of this particular game. But uh, now that I'm starting to get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. The Lords of Madness, Volume 4, Yin Go. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinogu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there's nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen, gnolls. But how are gnolls created? First, a chosen of Yinogu must do as their master wills, kill. A hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim and a knoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Knoll, the, uh, knolls thus are born 
are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That satiation is itself an offering to Yinogu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the Knolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles make their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of Knollish pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whomever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. Okay, I'll take that. As a tip, thank you very much. Chief Executive became a bronze ox. Thank you, Chief Executive. We've got another gilded chest here. Wow, after all that, I got a five. We'll try again. And there we go. Gold ingot, gold, and lots of oils. We were at this harpy nest already, I think. Can we turn the lantern on? Yep. Huh, but then it immediately turns off. Okay, that brings us back to Death and Divinity. Let's see, what's up here? Library and Records. That's the key that we just found. All right. I'm going to quick save before I go in there, just in case. Oh. All right. Okay, well, that's easy. With that, I think we've done a full loop of the rooftop, although we haven't come over here. Is there anything in that nest? I don't know. Well, I gotta find out. It's a nest. Always gotta loot the nests. <clears throat> Potion of invisibility, all right. And a ball and a stuffed bear 
Oh, that's awful. Oh, no. Whatever harpy or... Or vulture made this nest. Stole a ball and a stuffed bear from a kid. I wonder if they're quest items. We'll take him for now. Alright, back we go. There we go. Everyone's here. Gail? Oh, 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 oh. Good. <laughs> I do have everyone, don't I? Let's go down. Let's go through the main door. Where's Karlak? Karlak, where are you? Don't burn yourself. How did you get in there, Karlak? All right. And these things have stayed interesting. Oh, there's an there's another level here. There are three levels to this place. All right, we'll explore this one after we confront this doctor guy. I have a feeling it's going to be tricky, so I'm going to do a quick save real quick. Best be on my way. Oh, yeah, he looks great. Distressed patient. Witness the solace of the lady's whispers with each slice. Well, let's see if we can talk our way out of this. Malice Storm. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Ah! Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Oh, can we save him? No! Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Oh, Perhaps yuck. it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. <clears throat> well, uh, we have a number of options here. We could say, you will stop this sick spectacle at once. That probably leads to combat. We could say, a student, yes, do please enlighten me. That probably leads to the patient's death. We could say, I don't wish to study, only to lift the curse on this land. He'll probably object to us calling it a curse. What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. 
Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. No! A stinging truth, but a truth nonetheless. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Okay, uh, dear lord, uh, <laughs> what on earth is going on here? <clears throat> We could pass an investigation check, which only grants us plus two. A religion check, which only grants us plus two. Or a persuasion check, which grants us nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's what we're going to do. We will pass a persuasion check to say, the sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. Plus two to persuasion or an advantage on charisma checks. Let's try voice of the circle. Oh, and advantage. No, nope, we can only choose one. And that's better. Total bonus 14. Oh, no. Oh, well, we got it. Decisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Well, we've got a bard option here. <clears throat> to have us pass another perception check. Or a persuasion check, and it's got the exact same benefits. So we'll take the bard option to say... I take joy in performing with a master of my craft. I'm sure the sisters are the same. Why don't you volunteer? Karagun, a member for 13 months, says, Hey, Ox, how's you? Quick question. Whatever happened to the guy in your closet? Did you, you, did you feed him and keep him or free him and let him loose, lol? Uh, th there was never a, 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 a Comcast guy in my closet. I, I promise I don't keep Comcast employees tied up to a chair in my closet and feed them lukewarm porridge until they make sure my modem works correctly. That does not happen in my household. No. WA says, no ox. Two is better. Cat5 says, two avoids the fight. Oh. Okay. Harold J on Facebook says, hello. Hello there, Harold J. That guy 89 on Twitch says, Oxhorn, I've watched you long your long form Fallout 4 videos on YouTube for years. Now I look up Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, saw you. Had to tune in. Hope all is well. Thank you very much. That guy 89. Glad you've been enjoying my Fallout content. All right. Chad says they got to do number two. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? Oh, God. It's gonna be tricky. Gotta pass a 21. Yes, for are we not all in need of a cure? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. Ah! Oh, God. It is a proud moment 
when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken to heart. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark fingered embrace. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we can pass a bard check to say, I am not worthy. Please show me how a master works. I would be honored. That's a bard check, and we've got three from charisma, three from per persuasion proficiency, three from persuasion expertise, and two from voice of the circle. We got to again pass a 21. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Your diligence is exemplary. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe. Then succeed me into the sucker of Shah. Uh-huh. Yeah? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, Shadow Heart, and this is the god you worship? A god that causes these guys to commit suicide? Wow. Wow. Well, we avoided a fight there. <laughs> Oh, that was gruesome. The Adventurer on YouTube says, Hey, Ox, glad I caught your stream. I need something to watch. I just took my EMT test this morning, and I have to wait for the results. F my life. The Adventurer, I wish you the best. I hope the results come in pow uh, uh, come in uh, well, and that you pass with flying colors. Malice Thorm, what's on his body? Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet, Paralyzing Critical. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Hey, a battered loot! Oh, wait, no. It doesn't have any special abilities. Okay. A key... Alchemal ingredient, 40 camp supplies, all right, and an alchemal ingredient. The loot is for a quest, says chat. Oh, okay. Sister Grian, artificial leech. What is this? Is it a sword? It's a dagger. Oh. Kara Basin's gift. A strong paralytic poison. Sister Anya. A syringe. Also a dagger. And Kara Basin's gift. Alt Grendel says that I can free the patient. All right. I mean, his entrails are hanging out on the ground there. <laughs> a trepan. This is a short sword. Four to nine damage. I mean, the dude's intestines are hanging out here on the ground. Are you sure we can heal this guy? <laughs> and Sister Juana. Bone saw, a long sword. One to 10 damage. All right, I'm going to quick save after passing that fight. <laughs> and uh, let's talk to the distressed patient. Dude has no eyes. All right, let's unlock the restraints. Ooh. 
Dude, where are you going? Dude, come back here. I can heal you. Or not. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? I'm trying to heal you, man. Where are you? What on earth is going on? He just disappeared. Okay. All right, I am encumbered yet again. This is the bane of my existence. All right, let's move on over some of these weapons that we just looted. They're probably what's weighing me down. Let's see who's, everyone else is really light. Still encumbered. What am I doing with the poo scraper? Ew. Nut buster? A charming little rock. The word nut buster has been scraped onto it with a claw. When did I get the nut buster? A charming little rock? I wouldn't call the nut buster charming. I have to send all my food to camp, I think, because this is, I'm just, I've got tons of books, too. All right, let's uh, sort by weight. What's the, oh, of course, it's my money. Camp supplies, and send to camp. Idol of Saloon, I can sell all that, right? Spider's Liar, that's equipped, right? Do I have that equipped? Yeah. Spider's Liar. Wine. Toxin. Antidote. Tasteful Boots. When did I get Tasteful Boots? Okay. Oh, this story was horrible. Bonded by Love. We got that in the last broadcast. Let's send this to camp. Send all my books. One book at a time. One book at a time. I'm organizing my inventory. One book at a time. This is the height of YouTube entertainment, everybody. Organizing inventory. One book at a time. Stale bread. Yeah, I could eat that. The Necromancy of Thay. I should probably keep that on my inventory, huh? When did I... Oh, that's right. I got the Withered Chisel set. Ooh. Potato platter. WA says Ox use shifter control. Oh, window commands work here? Alright. Faye Wild Bell, Music Box, Nutbuster, Shadow Fungus, Sponge Tray. There you go, wine, that's a camp supply. Gosh, all these alchemical ingredients. I haven't had an opportunity to do alchemy, though, have I? Angelic slumber. Oh, 
Right, is that all my food? All these rings. Ugh. Notes. 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 Dear Lord. So much. Notes. Notes. Here we go. All the notes. Holding control here. Is that an egg? Look at all these keys. I've got a ton of keys. Strange chunk of amber. All right. And send to camp. Yeah. All right. I am now at 158. Okay. Now let's fill back up with all the loot here. A wooden shelf. Nothing. Oh, bottles. Yeah. No, what are you doing? No, I did not say climb. I did not say climb. Row of books. Bottles. I can't get the books. Barty Horn. Books. Oh. I mean, there was nothing over there, so I'm sure these will be empty, too. What do you... No! Don't go up there! Loot that. Loot that. No! Oh. Loot the row of books? No! Uh, forget this. All right. Now we'll go up. Hey, Lunar Dark Lines. This scroll is filled with soothing, persuasive arguments encouraging the sick at heart to turn themselves from Sehananine, Sehananine worship. The Moon Maiden, as the goddess is called, will whisper naught but lies. No problem solved. Only a sense of fondness that is as cold as the lunar marina, seas of empty pale dust, and even that gradually fading for the worshipper. As an alternative, the scroll speaks of Shar, who whispers only truth. Her fondness is warm, unexpectedly so for a goddess of, goddess of darkness, grief, and nihilism. But why should that be unexpected? The sick at heart will find only succor and blessings in the embrace of she who understands them best. All right, we've got Sister Julia. Bone saw. That guy 89 says that cellulite necklace is OP for your fighter slash barb. Is it? Cellunite necklace. Uh, let's see, where's the cellunite necklace? Oh man, missed amulet. Oh dear God, so much crap, so much crap. Undercovered mysteries. She's currently got the Moondrop Pendant. Where's my Cellunite? Ugh. Can I search? Yeah. Cellune. Night. Nothing. No items found. Oh. Cellunite. No, it's not here. I must have put it on someone else's inventory. The price of pride. I think we actually read this one. 
already. Yes. Sister Clara. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road. That sounds familiar. Have I read that one? I think we have. And then Sister Inessa. Well, well, well. I think the key we got probably unlocks this chest. Poisoner's Gloves. In Venom, whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Surgery and Physiology, a Sharon's Primer. The Great Explorer on Twitch says, Hello? No cam today? Yeah, I've got computer problems on my gaming rig, so I'm actually playing the game on my streaming rig, and that makes the setup for my camera a bit complicated. So no camera today. I hope to have it all sorted by next week. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharan aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained. So has Our Lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader, the darkness is infinite, but a master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come a time for one final lesson. He will become the subject, fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine, and dissect. The sisters shall one day know me, first in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. So he always intended to perform surgery on himself, or die in some way. Key! Another nameless key. Wardrobe. Swarthy, swarthy. Okay. And alchemical ingredients. Ooh, purple worm toxin. Mike says, for continuity's sake, the necrotic laboratory should be next. West. Okay. So through that door, I guess. Therapeutics. An excerpt from Margaret Oji's Therapeutics. Discussions with the 
Onir Romancer. The Onir Romancer yield nothing of merit so far. New incense and halluc hallucinogens trigger nothing. Another fruitless day. Something's happened. The Oniromancer ingested some, something one of her own clients recommended. She refuses to divulge the name of the substance, but her dreams were scrawled on the nearby blank canvas as we'd intentioned. Here is what the painting shows. Depictions follow of weird lumbering shapes sailing over cities, metal windmills attached to their sides, and here, oblongs fitted with wheels tearing locomotive across the track. And here, a mechanized person waving directly at the viewer. Hunter 321 Go says, tip for inventory management, grab your ALK bag and camp supply pack back from camp. Related items, when picked up, will be put into them. That's great. Thank you so much, Hunter 321 Go. Judge of the Damned. There are so many unique books in this game. Holy cow. An excerpt from the book in which Iphigen Mogros discusses the strange theistic history of mortals becoming gods. There have been many lords of death who cast judgment upon souls lost and found alike. Among them was Kelimvor, a hard man of harder convictions. As a mortal man, he was a mercenary with a paladin's stoic beliefs hidden under a crust of scowls and grumbles. As Lord of Death, he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself, for the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice, but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly, and Kelimvor chose cool prudence over cold malice. Right, chat is saying for continuity's sake we need to go west, so I'm going to quick save here. Well, this is not the library or lab that, uh, that was described to me. This is a back door leading back out to the graveyard. And I believe we explored this earlier. Or did we not? There's a cool pool down over there. We didn't, says chat. All right. Oh, we've got some tombstones, my favorite thing. Here lies Peter Vries, scholar and hermit. I can't read that one. Climb up the rocks, says chat. Which rocks? Up here? Looks like that leads to the rooftop. Here lies Yarrick Crumb, lifelong bachelor and patron of the arts. And that one doesn't work. I'm loving this music. Climb up these rocks. Looks like a slight path over there. Can I go down into there?
Guess not. Here lies Alden Quiggs, fishmonger, survived by his nine cats. Nine? Dear God. I'm frustrated that some of them don't work. Chops, toy maker and patron of mischievous children all over. That guy 89 on Twitch says, one important tip, then I'm gonna stop metagaming you. There is a way to get a permanent plus two bonus to your strength stat to one of one character of your choice in the Moonrise Tower, if you have not done that yet. Drow Merchant. Now I'm just guessing. Or now I'm just going to sit quietly and watch. That's all right, that guy, 89. I love all of your tips and advice. Here lies Sion Greencloak. She loved the forest. May she find it once again. And I have not been to Moonrise Towers yet. Okay, let's go up those stones that Chant wanted me to jump up. I mean, we do have a couple other paths in the House of Healing that we need to explore. But we'll start by doing what Chant suggested. This looks a little high. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can do it. Ooh, we got skeletons here. Oh, wow. An assassin's short sword and a scout's note. Survival failed. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll have to be careful there. Gerald, I want you to infiltrate the outpost from the ridge. I'm certain your sword will make short work of any obstacles. Let us take the initiative in this fight. Hadley. Watcher's shield, plus two armor class. Advantage on perceptions checks. Interesting. All right, I'm going to quick save because it sounds like something nasty is just around this corner. Many targets. Deal an additional half damage to three other targets in range. Cool. Ooh, what is that? Oh, what is that? What are those? Holy crap. Another one. Curious. That. The absolute army is kept here. I better not press my luck. Oh, that's the absolute's army.
Okay, I can't get down here. But there is this path over here that was guarded that we saw when going down that other doorway. Can we get down there? No, we can't. Oh, wow. The Absolute's army. Are we gonna have to go through there and kill them all? <laughs> I hope not. Can I get up there? I don't think so. All right, so we go back. We could go down here. Shadow Cursed Half Orc, Shadow Cursed Dwarf, and a Shadow Cursed Human. And a Shadow Mastiff. Well, if we're gonna have to kill them, we might as well get surprise. Seek and you shall find me. <clears throat> Let's see. Shadow Cursed Undead, notable features. All right, so resistance to necrotic, and that's it. Hopefully that was smart. is going to fall. That did it. Nice. All right. That's three of them dead. Miss, miss, miss. Robert Downs says, I told my wife that husbands are like fine wine. We get better with age. The next day she locked me in the cellar. Ah, <laughs> oh, I said, because I fine wine. Uh. Okay, uh, I could scare. I don't really want to do that though. Let's turn invisible. Then let's get him out of this. Where's Shadowheart? Why can't I do Shadowheart? Ooh, right in the middle of the cloud of daggers. There she is. Oh. I need to do a long rest, don't I? <laughs> hmm.
saved? How did it save on Lathander's light? Creator, destroyer. Okay. We've got a shadow cursed human, a shadow, a wraith, and a shadow. Does he have nothing that he can do? Yeah, I guess not. Ooh, right through the cloud of daggers. Hey! Nice, that killed him! <laughs> All right. Okay, Barty Horn. Concentrated blast. Yeah. Almost. And a miss. Six to eleven. Two to sixteen. He's got eight. Uh. We got one shadow left. Where is it? I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, on YouTube says, I rewatched your old video series on the Pit DLC for Fallout 3. I need to get both Fallout 3 and New Vegas again. Haven't played them since I had an Xbox 360. Nothing hits as hard in your 30s as nostalgia. <laughs> it sure does, but for me, since I missed them when I was young, it was a fresh experience for me, and I absolutely loved it. All right, um, I don't know where the next one is, so I'm not going to move. I will, however, get this guy closer because I think. Light on my feet. There he is! All right.
85. Oh, I had to be quick. Crap. It's gone now. It's gone now. Ah. Well, I know where it is. If I had... I could do thunder, but that would blow every... I could do this. That's going to put me right into the cloud of daggers. 55. Come on, it's over half. Critical miss my butt. Ah. Okay, that did it. All right. Okay, how do I stop concentrating on my cloud of daggers? I remember there being a way to stop concentration, but I don't call what it is. Below your portrait, hit the X, says Midgar. Oh, oh, I see. There we go. Hand axe, leather armor, petrified tumor. Okay, so that's where we need to go. To the morgue. Oh, dear. Um, but there were a couple other doors that we didn't explore. Cat5 says, should long rest, Ox. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should. Uh, before we do that, let's go through here, because we've got a couple other doors that we haven't explored yet. Like this one. Oh, this just leads back out here. Oh, so that's where that door went. Okay. This leads back to the operating room. But there was one more door way back here that I wanted to explore. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I'm going the wrong way. This way. What? They died again? <laughs> okay. This door. Oh. Right. This just leads back out here. Okay. Well, now I see why you uh, wanted me to go from the front. Because that's kind of the way this dungeon is designed. All right. Well, that's everything. Now something is being dragged this way. Something was dragged either from the operating theater to the morgue or from the morgue to the operating theater. That is so weird. Why do they do that? 
And I'm going to quick save here. And as tra uh, chat suggested, we'll do a long rest. I mean, I've got short rests. Do I do a long rest? Well, it's the spell slots, really, right? Harry Mason SM says, The most fascinating and tragic aspect of these shadows are those essences. Such a great means to add color and, ironically, life to the world. No, you're right. I love uh, examining the essences after you kill a shadow person. Metalhead Madman says, Want to hear a dad joke? I'll tell one as soon as he comes back from getting cigarettes and milk. Uh... So sad. Uh, oh, we need to talk to the kid because we found his parents. Oh. Hey, where's mom and pops? Well... I've got some sad news. We can pass a bar check to say, for once, I find myself at a loss for words. They're gone, Arabella. I'm sorry. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. We could say, it was quite the sight. Their corpses were all but turned inside out. <laughs> we can't be that cruel to the poor kid. We can't. So we'll pass a bar check to say, I wish this were simply another tale, but it's not. I'm telling you the truth. They'd never leave me. They promised. Get away from me. Go. Oh, I'm so sorry, kid. Let's let the kid grieve. All right, I'm not seeing any exclamation marks over any of my companions, which leads me to think that we don't have any dialogue. Now, chat said to get a couple of bags. Oh, boy, what is all this? Alchemy pouch. Can I combine these? No. And a camp supply pack. So you're saying they automatically get sorted into the packs? All right. Um. Let's put one alchemy pouch there. It now has 37. Yikes. And then I can put that there. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, let's do camp supplies. And that's got five. Then... Theoretically, uh, to make it easier, I can just open up a camp supply and send all of these to camp, leaving the bag. Oh, that's so smart. Thank you. That's a huge help. That is going to save my bacon. Can I do that with any other containers? Like a potion pouch or... A key ring. I've got a key ring. Yeah, I could do that with a key ring. I've got a lot of keys, though. So I should probably... Yeah, okay. Okay. Oops. Can I open this? I can't open it. 
I want to combine these. How do I combine key rings? Because I can't open it. Oh, it's already open? Oh, I see. Okay. It opened behind. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Uh, let's put that there. Put that there. Let's open that. No! Ugh. There we go. I gotta do this once, then I'll never have to do it again. Where's my freaking key ring? Now that I have it, I, I don't know where it is. There it is. Okay. We'll put the old one there. My keys are organized, and I'll keep the key ring on my person, and we'll be good to go. I won't ever have to do that again. Now, camp supplies sorted in my camp supply bag. Alchemical ingredients sorted into my alchemy pouch. Can I do that with anything else, like books? Is there like a, a book satchel or something? I guess not. Okay. Check if Gale can learn more spells, too, says Cat5. All right. Um. Yes. Disguise self, fear, and knock. Okay. No time to rest. Let's sleep. Two. Come on, why doesn't it do optimal math? There we go. Thomas McCormick says, Ox, your gaming is S tier, but your inventory management is the equivalent of taking clean laundry and throwing it on the bed for later. Ha ha ha. 
I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ragfire says bump it again and it'll be 40-40. Oh, really? I don't have to do it manually? Okay. Thank you. Trying to find the kid and withers. There he is. With haste. I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead. I can't. Balance. Oh, I'm so glad Withers is here. All this tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. Ooh. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. She gave me her root tangle power thing. We could say, fine with me, she's already outstayed her welcome. Or why not? I'm not sending her out there alone. Or where will she go then? The weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Hmm. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. I know that voice from somewhere. Where do I know it? Is that Tyrion? Well, of all of these options, I like this one. You can trust Withers. If he says you'll be safe, you should believe him. I... <laughs> You feel the creep fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Quest complete. Reward. Withers encouraged Arabella to learn the ways of the weed. She left to find her own way in the world. We received a Shadow Blade Ring. Shadow Blade, level 2 illusion spell. One of the relics of Deep Durera's rebellious children. Long ago, in a foreboding realm called Hammergrim, Deep Durera, daughter of the, door, the dower god Ladagur, sired a great many heirs to her twisted 
Corundum uh, throne. All right. Uh, Shadow Blade. Interesting. Well, I suppose we should take off the True Love Embrace ring. Uh, because that would just get her killed, which we don't want that. We've got invisibility. Where's the new ring that we just got? Shadow Blade. Interesting. We have a shadowy short sword in your hand that deals 2 to 16 psychic damage. Hmm. I mean, that's not a lot better than what I have. I wonder if I should give it to somebody else. Maybe to him. Oh, he doesn't have any magical rings. I've got a long road ahead. Let's try. Let's try this one, I guess. One with the weave. Okay. It's no good to him, Ox, says tell next one up. If he's out of spells, he can run up and do melee damage, right? 2 to 16 psychic damage. Why would that not be good for him, Telnex? Mike says, if you're using the Phalar Aluve sword, you should activate its shriek or sing ability at the start of each fight. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Telnex says you need to stitch the staff to the shadow weapon. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know how to do that, so maybe you're right. All right. Well, who do we give it to then? I mean, she's already got an amazing axe or mace, so it wouldn't do her any good. She's my barbarian, so she's already doing more damage anyway. All right, what now? Music is really nice. It's a good thing they've got good music while I'm sitting here f f fiddling around in my inventory. All right, well, I don't know who should have it, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Okay.
Down we go. Look at this place. Such horrors defy description. Ooh. We got a Silence body. Can be best. Give it a try sometime. Right, well we should buff up. Okay. What to do? Need to find a way forward. Ooh, that is a bunch of corpses. Not even buried, just haphazardly thrown in a corner. Hmm. This wall looks suspicious. Hey! Did I call it or did I call it? Notice. A reminder, sisters, do not forget that patients passing through these hollowed halls must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewelry, timepieces, and extraneous gold amounts. These burdens can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall, that they not confuse matters between ourselves and Ketherick's Justicars. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings, if possible. I already found it. So these are all of their clothes. Oh. Backpack. Burlap sack. Backpack. Pouch. Red apple. Charred corpse. I'm not detecting a booby trap on the chest. Strange Tendril Amulet. Everard's Black Tentacles, a level 4 conjuration spell. Eldrith sigils seem to course through the metalwork of this amulet. Black Tentacles. Voice of the Circle has been really useful in a few dialogue checks. So I wonder if I should give the black tentacle spell to nice march. She currently has a dance when the wearer has 50% hit points or less they do, don't provoke opportunity attacks nice to do. She has no rings on Jeez Okay that's good for her since she's healing Ray of Fear and Wounding Ray. I haven't used those. Well, well, well. Still breathing. The 
despite everything. Hmm. I mean, I'm already a bard. Maybe I'll give it to myself. Tentacles sprout from the ground, turning the area into difficult terrain, attacking and smothering creatures within. Nice. Arabella's Shadow Entangle. Cast this upon shadow and undead creatures to entangle them. I can only use it once per long rest. All right, we need to give some rings to uh, Shadowheart here. Let's go by type. Those two go together really well. Hmm. That would be good for him. Direct me. Okay. All is well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's give that to him. Ready and willing. So I could give her invisibility, self-immolation. Why would I ever want to do that? Pass without a trace. Armor while obscured. Invisibility and blur. While concentrating, one to four psychic damage. Uh, she sometimes does concentrating spells. All right. Give that to her. And then... Why not? My faith protects me. I'd love to, thanks. Oh, I should take that off. Okay, so now she needs one. So many rings. Invisibility, self-immolation, pass without a trace. Armor while obscured. Okay. Well, I guess, uh... Sure, let's give her invisibility. Damn, it's good to be alive. Don't know if I'll ever need that, but... Telnex says, Ox, the green ring on Barty Horn is, the, is perfect for Shadowheart. Still alive. So that's progress. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also reflect radiating orb above. Yeah, but she's not illuminated. Oh, wait, she has Lothandar's light. Does that mean she's illuminated? Sheds holy light in a 20-foot radius. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would be perfect for her. Okay, cool. Let's uh, give her that one. What's next, I wonder? Oh my god. <laughs> Furzu's Ring of Trading, Deception plus one. <laughs> that, that would be good for Bardyhorn, I suppose. He sometimes has to do deception checks. And he's a bard, so that would come in handy. 
But do I replace any of these with it? I really like this light evocation cantrip. I use it all the time. But I, I sometimes do concentrating attacks as well. All right. I'll just leave that as it is. How much farther can I go? Water. Oh, there we got. Okay. Quick save. Judd Knight says, Ox, you can just select the equipment slot and it'll display all of the items for that type of equipment, no matter who's carrying it. Oh my god, that's going to save so much time. Thank you so much. Harry Mason on Twitch says, So many rings and we have ten fingers. Why won't you let us wear more than two in game? Good question. Ooh, I don't like it. Ooh, what's this green mist? Oh, no. Take a poison resistance potion, says Mike. All right, what does it look like? But then I have to take one for every character, don't I? And I only have two. Used until long rest. But I've only got two. Well, I could leave the rest of the crew back here. Poison resistance, drow poison basic poison. Poisoner's gloves. That's only when I do poison damage. Suspicious poison. Oh dear. Okay, well, I guess let me try this. Oh, we got zombies. A greater zombie. Oh, no. Oh, zombies. Can we lure them out? Strange. The 
dust on the leftmost door has been wiped clean. No! <laughs> Gonna hightail it out of here. Oh, there's a vent. Oh. Well, I don't want to get in the poison cloud. Heading out. Ah! Poor fucker. Resistances to poison immunity condition undead fortitude. When reduced to zero hit points, regain one hit point instead of... Uh, regain one hit point instead unless the damage was radiant or caused by a critical hit. Oh, dear God. So I got to do radiant damage to finish them off or do critical hits. This guy doesn't have radiant damage. Ha, it looks like the poison is inflammable. I just shot a fireball into there and it didn't do anything. Right. Uh, we've got... We've got this sunbeam. But they're not bunched up enough yet. I want to make good use of it. If I had them all bunched up here, that would work wonders. Instead, we can summon spirit guardians...
Zombie dash! <laughs> now they're getting nice and bunched up. Okay. The Mac Death says Invincible is out if you like Adam Punk Horror. Ooh, now that does sound interesting. Thank you. Okay, let me back up here. That provokes an attack of opportunity. Crap. But he's almost dead. It did nothing. It didn't. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. There we go. It just took a while. Another step forward. Uh, lucky roll with advantage or bardic attack. Yeah. I can get three of them here. But it means I gotta move forward. Which I don't wanna do. Thirty-six target is too close. Indeed. All right, that brings it up to sixty. 
60. No, I want to save that for more people who are grouped up. Guess we're going to do magic missile. That's right. All oh, get up in the door. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, that wasn't smart. I can get three. If I move closer, I might be able to get four. back up a little bit. Is that going to provoke an attack of opportunity? No. So I'm going to back up just a bit. Force them into the doorway. Shadowheart is tearing it up. And that killed him. Nice. Okay, Barty Horn. Let's see. Forty-one. Sixteen. Ten. Critical hit. Nice. Done.
King Five. Now this is my happy place. <laughs> Forty five, really? Too heavy to throw. Is there anything on the ground I can throw? No. All right, we're just gonna move over here. Okay, she's back. Now, do we have another zombie out here? Or is that the last one? I think that might be the last one. It's got 11 health left. Sacred Flame. Okay, we did it. Harry Mason says, Spirit Guardians, so beautifully overpowered. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Okay, now, we discovered some vents down there. Let's use our uh, bard to disable them. Time to press ahead. Since he has the poison resistance on. Crap, where's my light? Sol Invictus! Didn't help much. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. But looks like there's more. Nice. Better. I am just killing it on the rolls today. Hooray! This is using up a lot of my trap disarm kits, though. Better be worth it. Oh, yeah!
It's still hanging in the air so thickly. Again, it uses an inspiration. Yeah. Come on, wow. Two critical failures in a row. Well, I'm not gonna waste another inspiration on that. I could cover it with something. What did I do? There we go. That's a lot better. But why is there still a poison mist over here? There must be one that I'm missing. I got that one. I mean, it's a lot better, but it's still lingering. Nope, it's not up there. And it's not up there. Well, I don't know what's still putting this poison cloud out there. I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. I don't see any over here. I covered that one. Maybe it's over here. It looks pretty heavy over here. But I don't see any on the ground. Alright, well... Guess I'll just explore it with Bardyhorn here. <clears throat> I'm going to quick save. And when he walked into this room, he mentioned uh, this door. Dead Harper. Research notes. Spell remove shadow curse. Possible. Variant on remove curse slash dispel magic slash other. Recitation. Umbra resisit ineffective. Nox excitus ineffective. Nox fit lux potential. Nox finio potential. Vita in Umbra, ineffective. 
Vita Kava. Unattended consequences. Living armor. Gesture. A number of spellcasting gestures are traced beneath. Olam's journal. Day two of darkness. I stood calm as Kethrick uttered his final curse and then withered. As my fellow harpers dragged his putrid corpse from the battlefield, I allowed myself to feel relief, even solace. A wrong had been righted, an evil thwarted. Victory had come, but I had yet to know its true cost. The darkness shrouded the land like a vast cloak. It began as a chill, as if the claw of winter had gripped us. Within hours, every breath was a dagger piercing my throat. I hungered for air like a wolf hungers for meat, yet I could still get my fill thanks to my armor. Would that the men and women of Wreathwin had been so well equipped. One by one they fell, only to rise as shadows of themselves, intent on extinguishing all light and all life. The shadows hang less heavy in this place. It still takes some effort to fill my lungs, but better to expend effort than to unite with darkness. My traps should keep me safe, or at least safe enough. Day five of darkness. The shadows ebb and wane. A torch flame is sometimes enough to burn them away, but no light can dispel the deepest of them. I called my familiar Corvin to my side, but he could scarcely take wing. Tomorrow I search, and not just for food and drink, I might find a scroll or an artifact, or an arcane focus that can ward off this curse. Perhaps I might even find another survivor. Day 18 of Darkness. It's a particular loneliness in these shadows. Corvin shows great affection when I call him, even as he suffers. Those few minutes are at least some comfort for us both. It is remarkably still in here, and even stiller out there. I have found a few scrolls and books near the House of Healing, as well as some scattered artifacts, but they hold nothing for me. The only answers call out from within the house itself, where I dare not enter. I hear the moans of the anguished, the shouts of the cruel. There are those who make their home in the shadows, but I am no less alone for them. Day 26 of Darkness I called on Corvin again, but I cannot bear his torment. Nor can I bear my own. Gray has turned almost to black, and the air might as well be molasses or tar, so hard as it is to choke down. All beings should walk free of fear, I was taught. Oh, if only were I granted such a fine fate. Acolyte Blessed's final rest. Shadowheart is inspired. One inspiration gain. Yeah, hopefully I won't waste it on a freaking trap. Sage snuffed spark. Gale is inspired. One inspiration gained. Let's see what's on his body. Gold, a ring, and a key. Necrotic laboratory spare key. Don't know what the bloodstone is for. Tell you what, let's talk to the dead. Corpse too damaged. Guess I can't talk to him. Now there's a lever over here. I'm gonna quick save before touching it. God knows what'll happen. Stuck from this side. I should look around. Stuck from this side? All right, so it's probably on the other side. Locked. It's lock pick. Thirty? I gotta pass a thirty? 
Jeez. All right, let's see if we can find another way before I waste a bunch of my trap disarm toolkits and stuff on that. Is there anything over here that's too clogged up with vines? All right, let's see what's on the other side of Morg Labdor. And that was the Necrotic Laboratory Spear Key. Okay. Do I dare explore this by myself? I don't see any dangers. Cat5 says that Gale has a spell that can unlock that. Well, I gotta turn off this poison somehow first. Severed pelvis, severed torso. Ooh. Surgeon's research. Oh, 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 there's, there's a lever, but I just failed a perception check, which means there's something in here. Save, says the chat. I did just before I walked through the door. Cabra sends poison. Surgeon's research notes. I discovered all too late that I was making things much harder on myself than necessary. There was no need for such complex chemical experimentation. No, foolish me. I ought to have turned to that which has already been perfected by nature. Fortunately, my research led me to the carapace of, a, of the Kyrian Crawler, which contained a paralytic agent so powerful I must be quite cautious not to breathe it in during the refinement process, lest I fall asleep at my workbench. Sage Hippocratic no more, Gale is inspired. Tissue and organ register. Tissue and organ register, donor unidentified gnome, recovered from a bladder and left lung, cause of death unknown necrosis, notes gangrenous skin, distal extremities missing. Donor, unidentified dwarf, recovered left hand, both feet, brain, left hemisphere, cause of death abdominal hole, arcane origin, notes run through by lightning, brain's right hemisphere scorched. Donor, unidentified human, recovered skeletal remains only, cause of death cremation, arcane origin, notes delivered in urn. The list goes on. The final entry includes an extensive note inked in a flowing script. Ketherick promised the finest of specimens, yet Balthazar provides naught but dregs for my research. A spleen here, a finger there, an intact head if I'm lucky. The bloody necromancer has kept the finest cadavers for himself. I will talk to my nephew. Whether he listens is another matter. Those drag marks? Hmm. Elixir of giant strength. Potion of superior healing. Blood bank log. Blood and bodily fluid log. Addendum the first. It is no longer necessary to log names. Race or creature type is sufficient. MT. Addendum the second. You will use either the term donor or vessel when describing a source of extraction. Victim is an ugly and inaccurate word. <laughs> All right, name, redacted, race, half, elf, occupation, farmer, cause of death, extremity, amputation, extraction, fluid, blood. Notes, cadaver, dumped in canal. <laughs> name, redacted, race, human, occupation, unknown, cause of death, live extraction. Dear Lord. Extraction fluid, blood, lymph, spinal fluid. Notes, refused toll payment. Cadaver cremated after extraction. 
Name unknown race ogre. Occupation ogre. Cause of death, fatal wounds to skull and torso. Extraction fluid blood notes corpse confiscated by Balthazar. The list continues for many pages. I wonder if that scraping on the floor means anything. Potion of greater healing. Nice. Be cautious. Hey, that one was successful. Tramp on there. Let's disarm it. Got to pass a 14. Dear God, here we go. Oh. I wasted all my good rolls on the stupid traps in that room. All right, let's use one of my inspirations. Come on. Yay! Now we gotta unlock it. Unless I have a key. I don't. So let's lock pick. Gotta pass a 14. Wow. Uh, let's use a, thief a thieves tool. I've got a lot of them. There we go. Critical success. Inside we've got Eversight Ring. Blind immunity. The wearer cannot be blinded. Okay. All right, so there is a lever here, which is probably going to make the other lever in the other room work, but I need my other companions here to figure that out. I'm so bummed that this poison cloud is still here. All right, I'm gonna quick save and try picking this lock. I know it's a 30, but maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, there's, there's no way. Why not the lever first? I can't do anything with the lever. This doesn't open from here. I can't use that lever, and I can't use that lever. So let's bring the crew. Wait, did we loot the zombies? Mike says, with the Eversight Ring, you can cast spells like Fog Cloud or Darkness on the character wearing the ring and essentially have portable cover from enemy attacks. That sounds interesting. Gedisterian says, Judd Knight, I will if absolutely nothing else works. I want to see exactly how much damage this poison causes. Why aren't they coming? Come 
Come on, everybody. Okay. Shoot. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, she made it. But she's poisoned. Poison is gone. Why aren't the others coming? Perception failed. I need the others here. Why aren't they coming? A long way to go still. Need to keep going. Better take a look. All right, she's okay. Here we go, that perception. Perception. There we go. Now I can use the lever. Okay. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Should mind my step. There we go. Leads outside. Is this outside? Oh, we got a button. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to do these one at a time. At the ready. Doggone it. Forthwith. He's poisoned, but it doesn't last long. There we go. Back to Shadow Heart. Let's get her out of here. Oh, she almost made it without getting poisoned. And it ran its course. Don't be shy. All right, the uh, downside to getting poisoned isn't that Moving bad. Okay, we're all through, and soon we will all be out of poison. All right. Looking ahead. Quick save. Now, button. Huh, for some reason, nothing I light stays on. Can't slow down. <clears throat> Ooh, something was dragged down here.
Wait a minute. There was one more perception check I wanted to see. Hold on. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. She has the perception necessary. Remember I saw the drag I'll marks over way. here? I thought there was another perception check that Bartyhorn failed. Nope, was that the only one? Okay. The lights go out because of the shadow curse, says Smike. Oh. That would explain it. Well, I don't know why this button isn't doing anything. Is that blood? No, never mind. Don't waste a step. Oh, my. What the heck is this? Oh no. <laughs> There's a pathway over here. We're going to have to misty step this, but I don't think all my characters have misty step. I really don't want to fall down there, but if I do, I can climb back up this way. There's hollow armor down there. Oh. Is that poison? Okay. Fetid Ooze. Smike says the uh, journal mentioned animated armor, yeah. It did. Fifty two hit points each? Crap. Let's go in. I mean, I could jump down, but it would really hurt. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. One day I'll catch a break. What if there's a bridge that I can extend? Gilded chest. You and nearby allies get immunity to falling damage. Oh, I should have used that. Are they nearby enough?
way to the nearest library. Death. I guess he wasn't near enough. Okay, I need to reload a save and use Featherfall when all my characters are close. You can use fly potions too to cross, says Ulv1669 on uh, Twitch. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Mike says Mage Hand Mike says the Mage Hand can trap on Gale can fly to the chest and throw it back to you. Also, if Gale has the enhanced leap spell, you can cast it on your characters one by one to traverse the gaps. Okay, I don't think I have that, but I do have the hand, don't Very I? Very well. Hmm. I applaud your taste. Ready and true, Too far. I can't throw it that far. Can I throw it down? Oh, come on. Why can't I throw it down? Well, I moved it there. Right click it, says the chat. Oh, I should have right clicked it. All right, well, I, I lost my mage hand. Can I do it again? No, I must take a short rest. All right, I'll try again by right clicking it. Alt Grindle says right click says chat. Yeah, I'll try that. Judd Knight says it might be too heavy, but it's worth a try. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be too heavy. So we'll try again. Mike, uh, Smike says you did right click it at the end and it said it was too heavy. Oh, okay. Well, it's not worth it then. I can always misty step that way. Going. And then feather fall down. Depending on how long feather fall lasts.
Okay, quick save here. Let's put on turn based. Featherfall. Oh, I have the magic touch. Boom. Oh yeah, this is brilliant. Attention. <laughs> Come on, little guy. There you go. <laughs> Okay. So a bunch of slimes are going to appear down here. And is this hollow armor going to come to life and attack us? Is that poison in there? Is that going to harm us? So many questions. All right, I'm going to leave these guys up here. They're clearly out of the path of the poison. Let's jump down with Bardy Horn and see what happens. The armor comes to life. Entangle shadow and undead creatures. Let's see, what's this? Hollow armor, shadow animated. This armor is animated by shadow, increasing its abilities, scores, and hit points. Immune, er, uh, resistant to acid, resistant to necrotic, immune to psychic, immune to poison. Okay, so does that mean that I could entangle it? Invalid target. Come on, it's shadow animated. I can't use that. Target must be a humanoid. Ah. High defense. Do I waste polymorph on that? The sword sings a melody. All allies within 20 feet range have a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Or I can shriek. All enemies within 20 feet range have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Affected creatures receive an additional 1 to 4 thunder damage. Let's do sing. Parabella.
Jimmy on the go. Nice. I'll just keep him up here. Can't afford to let up. Uh, resistant to slashing, immune to acid, resistant to lightning. All nearby creatures fall victim to the ooze's fetid fumes and take 1 to 6 acid damage. Revealed mental fatigue. Okay. There goes the armor. Oh, but there's the shadow that was animating it. Okay. Down it goes. Man, Shadow Heart is so badass. Talk to me. Ooh, strength drain, it actually worked. Well, there's no point in tangling this guy because he's right up on my butt. I could Cloud of Daggers. But I think I'll just attack. I wonder what happens if I infuse a shadow with an aura of light. Does it automatically kill it? <laughs> no. Can't do it. Down it goes. Bye forever, pal. Can't reach destination, really? Why not?
I can get really close. There we go. It's got 36 life left still. Hmm. And what was it? Uh, resistant to lightning? Yeah. Resistant to lightning. Target is too far. You're kidding, really? Oh, no, there we go. Is that going to hit Karlak? Yeah, because it's an area... Didn't do much. Can't give up. Not now. Four to twenty four, two to sixteen. Seven. Ah. Uh. I already have a spiritual weapon. There we go, ten. My faith will protect me. Carlock, are you standing at acid? If you insist. There we go. She was slightly hurt. Am I encumbered? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'm not. Huh. It was giving me a message as if it thought I was encumbered. Okay. Well. Hollow armor. Protective plate. Uncommon heavy armor. Nice. But I wonder. Now I'm encumbered. Okay. So Karlak and Shadowheart are already wearing very rare heavy armor. <laughs> so, so it's really not any good for, for them. I'll move it over to Carlax inventory because that's a very heavy piece. Okay, he still has the poison, right? But that doesn't help against acid.
crap. Okay. Do I have any potions that help against acid? Acid. Acid vial. It does acid damage. I don't see anything down here that I can interact with, so I'm thinking I should just get out. Yeah. Let's just climb out of here. Mm. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Where to? Okay, now this chest. And it's locked. Well, I think I should probably... Misty step over there, unlock it, feather fall down, and then jump back up. Gonna quick save just in case. Try again. There we go. Flesh Melter Cloak. Caustic Reprisal. Whenever a creature deals melee damage to the wearer, that creature takes one to four acid damage. Awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Do I still have Featherfall? I do. Yay! Okay. I think this is my first legendary cloak. Or my first cloak that actually has a benefit. Let's give it to Carlax since she'll probably be deal uh, taking the most melee damage. Awesome. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, I need a quick bio break. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Two minutes.
Okay, thank you for your patience, and I'm back. Now, let's see. Well, this was pretty much a one-way trip, wasn't it? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll find a way back to where we were through here. The Magic Q, a member for 56 months and a gold ox on YouTube says, Hi Ox, how are you? I hope you can get your gaming PC running soon. I'm just curious, have you looked at Enshrouded? I think you and your son would enjoy playing it. If you like Valheim, you'll like Enshrouded. Oh cool, yeah, I haven't heard of it. I'll have to uh, make a note to myself to check that out after the broadcast. Thank you, the Magic Q. Ominous cave. Oh no, where have we gotten ourselves? Oh, that's where we came from. What, where are we? Oh. Grand Mausoleum, there's the House of Healing. Oh, this is where we met, what's his name? I see. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. This is different. Loris is actually Oxhorn. I recommended that game to you already. Oh, okay. Ox, short rest. Okay. Thank you, nice Telnex. So this isn't the cave that we saw where the devil was. I thought that's where we were for a minute. But I guess not. Toast, toast. Why do I have a feeling there's something under this tree? Can't throw it too heavy. Okay. No time to rest. If not over, then through. Mm. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Okay, well. Cursed Tower Yo. Jeez. That's a lot. That's a lot of fishes. That oh my god, that's a lot of fishes. Oh dear lord. Oh, there are more over here? Oh, no. <laughs> That's a lot. What have we done? <laughs> Yikes. 
Oh, and there's more in the cave too. Or in the in the building. Crap. Well, Jiminy. Say bye bye. Ninety two. That's the chief. Oh, yeah. Karlak knows how to deal with this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. They don't like the light. Right. Well, well, well. Shadow Cursed Undead, Drenched. Melee attacks inflict wet. Uh, revealed, blinded, cloud of daggers. Okay, resistant to fire. Resistant to necrotic. Weak to lightning and weak to ice. Perfect. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> nice. Look at that. All right, two left over here. One's only got three hit points left. But I've got a big crew coming around the corner over there. And then three more. Are those engaged in combat? I don't know if they've seen me yet. There we go. <laughs> Critical miss. They tried to throw a net at me. Oh yeah, they know. Here they come. Oh, they're coming around this way. Oh, great. They're going to come up behind me here. Right. Thirty one. Forty four. So it's a bonus to attack rolls or a bonus one to four thunder damage.
Let's do bonus to attack. Ah, I did that last time. Let's do one to four thunder damage. Critical hit! <laughs> He's only got 16 health left. And down it goes. Okay, these guys aren't too bad. Okay, Gail, let's see, we've got these two out here. We've got that crew of three coming around the back. They're not quite in range yet. Link yourself to a target with a bolt of lightning. Deal an additional one to 12 lightning damage with each turn by activating it. I mean, these guys aren't gonna last long enough for me to take full advantage of that, I don't think. Tore them up. If only I had more that were grouped together. There's still this guy down here. Whoops. Oh. With ease. I'm ready. Lightning. How did I get electrocuted? How did I get electrocuted? Whoops. Not enough movement. All right, I'll let them come to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it killed one of them. Okay, Barty Horn, let's see. 25. I wonder why that guy didn't take any damage from the bomb.
attack up to two enemies at once. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Can I do it again? Yeah. Oh, that was great. So this is the only one left. He's got 19 health left. Uh, health left. Well, I don't want to go through the cloud of daggers. There we go. That was great. Mike says you can actually attack the same enemy twice using that bard ability. Oh. I might have to use that more often. Let's see what the chief had. Lightning Jabber. Get some rest. I need to keep sharp. A versatile... What is that, a pike? Shocking sting. On hit, possibly shock your target. Throwing lightning damage when launched at a target. Deal an additional 1 to 4 lightning damage. So yeah, it's like a spear. A makeshift spear fashioned from a giant crab's claw. Xfinity Dreams says, Oxhorn, longtime fan. I didn't know you streamed, though. That's right. I stream uh, three times a week here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Kick. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Light crossbow. Fish. Yeah. Rusty spear. Scroll of haste and money. Another step forward. <clears throat> Road dust, gray clothes, gladiatorial sandals, a cleaver.
Note. Noah with Catch you later, Ellis. Gone fishing, catch you later, Ellis. Noah with a super tip on YouTube. Thank you very much, Noah. And that's Noah's first super tip. Rotten fish. Wooden chest. Hey. Potion of flying. Wow. Fly ten turns. That'll come in handy. Okay, well. Oop, fish. Gotta get those camp supplies. Okay, guess we gotta go up here. <clears throat> Harry Mason on Twitch says, there was a time in my playthrough where an allied NPC cast a massive ice field which ended up as water that I used to shock the enemy. However, the electricity lingered just long enough that the allied NPCs walked into it, shocking them, which in turn le led them all to become hostile. Had to replay a tough battle because of it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that sounds infuriating. All right, guess we go up. <clears throat> oh, I remember this. Grave marker. Makeshift Salunite graves. They must have fallen in the fight against the Sharans all that time ago. Makeshift Salunite graves. They must have fallen in the fight against the Sharans all that time ago. Okay, and I've looted all this. Right, which means the pale elf killed the Orthon. Now, um, <clears throat> this is that cave that I thought I came out of, but I didn't. That's the one that the devil wants us to go inside and kill the Orthon. I, I, if I recall correctly, chat was saying I should do that last and go down to... The Toll House and then to Moonrise Towers first. Is that true? I mean, I'm right here now. It, it seems to me like it would make more sense to go inside here first. WA says, Ox, don't go inside. Not now. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I should probably go down here to the Toll House. And since I've explored all of this, I think I should take the, I should fast travel to the Wraithwind town and then go through the toll house and down here to Moonrise Towers. Let's do that. Okay, I've got one uh, short rest left, but all my characters are fully healed. I don't think I should uh, use it just yet. How am I doing on spell slots? I still have all my spells on Gale. Wits and blades always sharp. 
Now, I don't have everything on her. I used Sunbeam, my spiritual weapon, my Glyph of Warding. All right, I've used a lot on her. All right, I'm going to do a hard save here. And that's it for me. I'm out of time. That's the full four hours. Thanks, everybody, for joining me on what was supposed to be Cyberpunk Monday. But uh, due to my PC issues, we turned it into Baldur's Gate Monday. I had a great time. I'm really enjoying this game the more I, di I dive into it. And I can't wait to finish exploring this section next time we play. As I said at the beginning of the broadcast, this week is a little muddy for me. I don't know exactly what my availability will be. Definitely can't broadcast on Wednesday as I have an appointment that day. But uh, depending on how it goes, I may be able to broadcast Thursday. If not, I'll let you know on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with my streaming schedule. I'm going to go check my deliveries box and see if uh, a certain computer component has been delivered. And if so, I'm going to get to cracking on this PC trying to fix it. If uh, Otherwise, I'll start working on my lore video. And I made great progress on it last week, but I can't quite finish it until I get, get this computer up and running. Wish me luck, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.